Mmm, but I don't want to talk about machine gun smelly. <laughs> All right. I wasn't gonna talk about him. You guys know I don't like to talk about like news events, but I, I've had enough. I've had enough. Machine Gun Kelly, he needs to go bug another genre. <laughs> Look, I've already done a video about Machine Gun Kelly back when he attempted a guitar solo, which was not good. It sucked. However, however, at the end of the video, I did make a point to say that I actually enjoyed Machine Gun Kelly's pop punk music. And Machiney McWeenie should have stopped there. Machiney McWeenie. You should have stopped when you were ahead. You were doing pretty good for yourself. You know, doing a punk rock album and not failing miserably. You should have stopped right there, but no! He had to go dip his little where it didn't belong and started making fun of metal legends. Yeah. So, from what I can gather, Tori Taylor, <laughs> Corey Taylor was supposed to do a verse on one of Machine Gun Kelly's songs on his pop punk album. But Machine Gun Kelly wanted maybe a, a different style of vocals and Corey Taylor was basically like, ah, that's not really my style. Maybe I'm the wrong guy for the job. And apparently there was no bad blood or anything. It was just, just, just a collaboration that maybe wasn't the right fit. But then, all of a sudden, Machine Gun Machiney McWeenie had to run his mouth and he basically made fun of Slipknot for wearing masks. Hey, you wanna know what I'm really happy that I'm not doing? Being 50 years old wearing a weird mask on a stage. So anyway, what's everyone's favorite candy? Reese's Pieces? Are you kidding me? You're really gonna make fun of Slipknot for wearing masks? My guy, you literally bought your clothes at Karen's R Us. Look, if you wanna dress like a middle-aged female principal, that's, look, you can dress the, whatever way you want, but that don't start making fun of someone else for the way they dress, especially if they're one of the most legendary metal bands that ever lived. Bad, salty. Salty, even if you don't like Slipknot, you have to respect them. It's in the, it's in the metal Bible. You have to respect the Slippy Doodles. You have to respect Slippy McPherson, okay? You know, I, I'm starting to notice a pattern. When he was a rapper, he started making fun of one of the biggest rappers, and basically the entire rap community Smack him in the ass! And he fleed the rap community and moved on to another genre, punk rock. Then he starts making fun of Slipknot. Now, I know Slipknot is not punk rock, but they're, you know, they play guitars. I predict that in a year he's gonna go to country music and then start shitting on Dolly Parton. Jolie, 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 Jolie. Sweetheart, I'm Dolly Parton. I just want to say that was a beautiful cover of my song, Jolene. You know what I'm happy that I'm not doing? Being 80 years old, having kids the size of Arkansas. So anyways, what's your favorite candy? Twizzlers? Now everything that I just said, I wasn't even gonna do a video about it. But Machine Gun Kelly just had to go do something else. Didn't he? Didn't he? Me. I was on the internet the other day and I saw this. Really? Really? Machiney McWeenie? Really? First you shit on Slipknot, you shit not. And now you're gonna do a live cover of a System of a Down song. Are you trying to piss off the metal community? A lot? What are you doing? Machiney McWeenie? If I didn't know any better, I, I would think you're trying to end your career. So, yeah, that's that's where I was like, okay, well, now we gotta do a video. We gotta watch this. Oh, what, th this? The poster? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. These guys are the sponsors for today's video. 
It's Displayed. Displayed has one-of-a-kind metal posters where you can collect your passion and showcase them in a really cool way. I now have a number of displays myself, so it was really fun looking at all the different artist collections. Plus, there's tons of official designs from brands like Star Wars, Marvel, Fallout, you name it. The, the possibilities are endless, and they only take four to five business days to receive. Let me tell you, the quality of these prints blows me away every time. It looks like a freaking painting. Now look, I am the furthest thing from a handyman. Don't even know what this is. But you don't even need tools to hang up your disc plates. All you gotta do is apply the wall sticker mount, then stick the magnet to the wall mount and push it so it's all nice and snuggaroo. The entire process takes about 20 seconds. And then conveniently, since disc plates are made of metal, they stick to the magnet. In fact, this also means you can switch out your disc plates as much as you want. It's so freaking easy and it takes literally two seconds. And I'm gonna get you a discount on your own disc plates. Follow the link in my description to start your own disc plate collection and showcase your passions for the world. Thank you, disc plate, for sponsoring. Oh. Let's watch it. Machine Gun Kelly cover system of a downs aerials. When you choose something to cover, it's got to be a band you respect. Um, actually, when I choose a cover, I usually like to piss off the metal community. <laughs> Sorry. Have you ever performed aerials at a festival or anything, or is this the first time no, you're doing never, it? We've never done aerials at all. I'm like, you know, I'm here to, to just to just jam it and see what happens. I'm, I'm so. Oh, oh, have I done aerials before? Uh, I don't even know the song. Uh, I looked at the lyrics briefly. This is an Avril Lavigne cover band. We've never played System of an Up. Normally, see, what you normally do before you play a show is you practice! When the internet is a thing, you don't just wing something. That is how you become a meme. Just ask Puddle of This is a, an important song, System of a Down Dead. This is Ariel's. Those strings look dead. Hold on! The vibe I get off of this is he's trying to be like Kurt Cobain, MTV Unplugged, cool. You know, just like... Like I'm so punk. Only difference is, like, K Kurt Cobain pulled it off. He was actually cool. Machine Gun Kelly is not... singer ever but he's just he's not much of a dynamic singer you know honestly he kind of sounds like this my there's a waterfall the one in the river I want again after the fall he just like has this like low deep talking kind of singing voice which kind of works for punk rock I guess because they, they just don't care but when you're singing a song a system of a down song Serge's vocals are very Almost operatic, very dynamic. I, I cannot impersonate him, but he's like, We lose ourselves and we find it all. Obviously, Surge is way better, but he's, you know, if you're not that style of vocal, you gotta do a different song. You gotta just not do a song. We are the ones who want to choose. Always wanna play, but you never wanna lose. Don't like that He's not half as cool as he thinks he is Went a 
little mumble rap on that one. Like open up your open up your mouth. How do I say keep your mouth shut, but open your mouth when you sing? Okay, keep open your mouth when you sing, but keep your mouth shut about Slipknot. Keep my band's name out your f mouth. Attempt the hook. Come on, machine McQueen. Swimming through the void, we hear the word. We lose the sounds, then we find it all. Acoustic soul. We've all found the brown note, but I think he found the dead note. <laughs> Cause it's like <laughs> However, I'm stoked to see like guitar solos in this. Great solo, Mr. Bean. <laughs> Just <laughs> like what are you doing? What are, Machini McQueenie, what are you doing? Edward Scissorhands wants his clothes back. You gotta do that in concert, that works. Howard, don't encourage this. Honestly, okay, you know what? It wasn't that bad, but he played it safe. He played it Like, he just kept it monotone. I would have been more interested hearing Ben Stein sing that. Life is a waterfall. We're one in the river and we're one again after the fall. But, you know, just undynamic. Though I do have to say, his band did a freaking amazing job. But at the end of the day, you know, Machine Gun Kelly has a level of success that I will never reach. I'm the one doing a video about him, not the other way around. So good on Machine Gun Kelly for playing it smart. Obviously, everything he's doing is doing well for his career. It's just a shame that he had to sacrifice the entire rock and metal community hating him in order to do it. That, that, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Please do subscribe. I'm getting this close to 3 million subscribers. Let's do it! And I'll see you guys in the next video. Love yous.